Christmas. This is the morning of the beginning of several firsts. And obviously I've been on many cruises, so this is not a first cruise for me. However, it is my first time on MSC and that's just the beginning of the first that we've got going on here. So I can't wait to see what MSC is like anyway. Um, but I also get to be in the Yacht Club of MSC, which I'll give you more details on what the Yacht Club is later, but it is a more exclusive experience um, with a lot of extra perks. One of the perks is supposed to be the boarding process and the embarkation process is supposed to go really smooth. You're supposed to get to pass everybody and when you get to your boarding lounge, there's supposed to uh, be um, some drinks and snacks and stuff provided to you. I am so excited. Y'all, I usually get interior rooms. Sometimes I'll get balconies depending on the price, but I'm an interior girl because I like to spend my money on other things and I'm not in my room very much. But when this was offered to me, I did take it and I'm so excited to share it with y'all. So let's go see how this process works. on the ship.
so uncomfortable. Okay, and welcome to MSC Yacht Club here in Seaside. Only the Yacht Club guests can enter this area. Only those with the cars and the wristbands, okay? And as you can see, sir and madam, that's our concert area, that's our reception desk here. But for the moment, we're going to the top sea lounge for you to have your special drink. Okay? Okay. From the gangway all the way here to the MSC Yacht Club only bar and I believe restaurant. So this is where we go to eat at night. We don't go to the like the actual common main dining room. I don't know if it serves the same food or different type of food, but um, either way we have our own yacht club dining room. This is too much. I don't know if I can go back, y'all. This is amazing dining room for lunch normally on cruise day i go to the buffet but why would we not go to the msc restaurant anyway lunch is from 12 to 2 dinner from 6 to 9 breakfast 6 30 to 8 30. let's see what they have oh here's a menu look at this for your onboard experience. You get a menu just like main dining room and uh, I can't pronounce anything on this menu so this is just gonna be an experience and I'm kind of excited about that because we like to try new things. Um, but look at my view, look at this. So this is my table. I hope I get to keep this table every night because the view here and actually if you look around the whole MSC Yacht Club dining room. it's pretty much an incredible view no matter what so uh, and this is the um, we are on the bow of the ship which is up here so it's gonna be a great view every time we get to eat here very excited about it pronounce most of the things on the menu so I just asked my butler, or I don't think he's my butler, but the waiter, um, what he recommended. And I don't remember what this calls. This is called, but I will have it put right down here somewhere. Um, but I want, it's not at all what I was expecting, but it looks amazing. It's, it's some sort of piece of beef I think but I don't know what part but it is very tasty very tender delicious Right, finished dinner. Those are some beautiful stairs. Crystal stairs. Or lunch, sorry, finished lunch in the Yacht Club. Lunch was so incredible. I love this experience so much. So now I'm gonna go to the Yacht Club bar and get an espresso martini, and then it's time to explore the ship, all the other parts of the ship that are not the Yacht Club. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll meet you around the ship. Thank you. 
Embarkation Day so far has been out of this world, the best that I've had. Uh, MSC gets a lot of bad reviews, and maybe that's for the uh, all the other stuff outside of the Yacht Club, I don't know. But so far, this has been the best experience I've had on Embarkation Day. We need to go put a card on file, and so when you put a card on file, you do it here. Um, I think you can do it online, but we didn't do that. And you have to wait in long guest services lines. So the Yacht Club, we have our own concierge. Doesn't take near as long. We can put on ca our card on file and be done with it. Um, and then we're going to go explore the ship. So stay tuned for this amazing ship, this beautiful ship. I can't wait to show it to you. Yacht Club. I just took the stairs down. I'm out of breath. Sun deck and pool. So this is just for the Yacht Club. Yeah. Let's go see what it looks like. Oh. It's super hot. Looks like there is a whole sun deck with lots of chairs. They put out little towels like this for us to have. And you have your own pool up here. A whole lot less crowded than the main Sunday. Um, and you have your own bar and a little bit of a buffet up here as well. Super nice. I love it. So this is one of the pool decks here on the ship. This is on deck 18. It is the Jungle Pool Lounge. I have no idea. Oh my. This is gorgeous. Okay. Wow. So this is a common uh, area. It's not just for Yacht Club, it is for everybody. And it's jungle theme. It's absolutely beautiful. You also have a bar here. All right, so we're gonna go forward and down one, which is supposed to be the Miami Beach pool. Gosh, this, this ship is quite the maze compared to other ships I've been on. Okay, I am so impressed with this kid's area. Look at this. This is for the kiddos and kids at heart. Several water slides. Uh, I'm counting at least three water slides here, um, and this is a really cool place. I love it. I want to say this is your main pool deck. Oh, so you've got the Miami Beach bar and uh, your main pool deck, which is super cute. You've got little pool beds to lay on right by the pool. It looks like a zero entry uh, with some water on the side, but there's not actually any water on the side right now. Look how cute this is. Uh, we are now aft of the ship for Miami Beach, but look at this view. This is the view from deck 16. This is a bridge of sight. Oh my gosh, look at this. And that's another pool, now that I'm looking at it. We're gonna have to go check out that pool in a minute. But from here, the bridge of sight is, you can see below me. That's pretty cool. I mean, look at this view. And all you Royal Caribbean fans, I am a Royal Caribbean fan. That is Wonder of the Seas over in the corner. <laughs> Amazing ship. Until Icon officially comes out, that's the biggest ship in the world. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna go down to whatever pool I just saw at the bottom. It's one of the elevators at the back of the ship. Yeah. As you can see. Oh, yeah. As you go down. This is 
So pretty. Where did that pull out? That's high. Right. Made our way down to um deck seven, I think. I might correct that later, but I think it's deck seven. And this is the South Beach pool. There's a South Beach bar behind me. There's gelato over in the other corner. And look at the ship. Look at the back of the ship. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. One of the things I have really loved about this ship is how many different pools there are. So a lot of cruise lines have their main pools. So even the biggest ship in the world has the main pool deck. There are four pools there, but it's one deck where this one is spread out. You've got an area for the kids that's really cool. And then you've got the, um, I mean, the kid area is like out of this world. And then you've got another pool and you've got the um, yacht club pool and then this pool as well. And this pool has an amazing view. Check out this view. So when you're going, you're gonna be looking out over the aft of the ship, watching it go. It doesn't get any better than this. So people are sleeping on MSC, y'all. And uh, stay tuned for the rest of my review, but so far I am impressed. Okay, so we are on, well, technically deck 18 at the moment, but right behind me is deck 16, and that's where the party is going to be, the sail away party. And what I want to know is, is this sail away party, how does it compare to uh, Royal Caribbean or Carnival? Carnival has some of the best sail away parties. So how does this compare to that? Right now it's loud down there. This is my first time on MSC, as we we know. Um, my favorite thing on Royal Caribbean and Car Carnival is the escargot. This was presented in a different way, but I believe it's just escargot. So I want to try it and see how it compares. Mm. It's amazing. If you love Royal Caribbean or Carnival's escargot, definitely go with this. It's called something snails. I'll put it somewhere down here on what it's called, but it definitely has snails in the name, but don't skip over it. It's very good. Okay, so another really cool thing that happened is I like wine, but I don't necessarily know what kind of wine I like. 
I don't necessarily know what kind I want, so I asked my waiter for recommendations. He sent somebody over who apparently knows all about wines and uh, talked me through different things and then said, you know what, I'll go see what you've ordered for dinner and I'll pair you the perfect wine. That's top notch, guys. That's amazing. So let's see what kind of wine he brings. This is incredible. What kind of wine do you like? Let me know in the comments below. Up until this point, I've thought the proportions were amazing. They're super small until I got this. This is the prime rib and it is ginormous. Let's see. It cuts amazing. Gosh dang. So much flavor in that bite and it is so tender absolutely perfectly cooked very good again probably the best prime rib i've had on the ship so far very good okay so one of the things i love uh, is to try new cheeses i love like cheesy cheeses i don't even know how to explain it but um, I make them at home. I'll buy like different flavor cheeses and make a cheese plate and try all the different things. On a cruise ship, they always offer the cheese plate as a dessert plate. And uh, this one is presented a whole lot different. And I don't have any idea what is on here. It looks like this is a blue cheese. Other than that, I don't know, but I'm going to try it. This. I have no idea. I don't know, but it's good. Oh. That one doesn't really have any flavor. I guarantee this is blue cheese. And honestly, blue cheese is one of my favorites. I really like strong cheeses. That's excellent. Okay, I think that's the same thing I had. This is the last one. That's a really good cheese stamp. If you've been on MSC and you know what each of these cheeses are, let me know in the comments below because I always get cheese plates and I don't know what they are, but I do like them a lot. Peter Punk in the main theater, Metropolitan Theater, I think is what it's called. Um, it is the first night main show. I don't, I don't know whether it's Broadway show or what. But let's go see what this is all about.
don't even know what to say. Uh, I didn't hate it. <laughs> it was comical. There was a lot of really cool acrobatics that went on. Um, but it was it was kind of entertaining, pretty comical. There was some sh stuff, excuse me, that you're just like, what the f just happened? Uh, but still made me laugh. I enjoyed it. Uh, I had heard some pretty bad reviews about different uh, shows on on these MSC ships. I didn't hate it. I actually enjoyed it. Uh, so. Not too bad, Peter Punk, not too bad. what we just did but there was some dance party and I'm telling you this is a step up from rural Caribbean's nightlife um, carnival's nightlife is amazing uh, <laughs> no words for that but this is in between rural Caribbean and carnival's nightlife a lot of fun happening in there but it is now 11.40 at night. We have Nassau tomorrow, and I need to go to sleep. So I'm gonna leave that groovy party back there, and I'm gonna find the yacht club and go to bed. I am ready for it. I'll see you in the morning for Nassau. Remember, a life without adventure is a, wait, I don't remember, wait. <laughs> A life with adventure is a life well lived. So I think that I'm gonna get sick by going in circles. I'm pretty sure I did that too fast, so let's slow it down. No, I'm done. It's everywhere.